back to my channel. This is Cooking with Me Attack. I'm so happy that you returned to watch my channel again. Welcome back. On today's episode, we will be making seafood boil. Yes, seafood boil. So today we'll be making seafood boil. And again, as usual on this channel, I will be doing step by step on how to make a delicious, tasty, beautiful seafood boil. So stay tuned and let's get started. Let's go. These are the seasoning that I will be using to make this meal. The crepe seasoning, I use it for the seafood. Only for the seafood, I do not use this seasoning every day, but it helps bring out the flavor. And when I use this season, I do not use salt because it has a lot of salt. And of course, I have to use my favorite, all-time favorite season, the complete seasoning. And use this season. It brings us so much flavor in the food. I love it. All-purpose chicken seasoning. The good old black pepper. Chicken boya. Sazon goya. This seasoning I use mostly for just coloring, but it does bring out flavor in the food as well. And of course, we always, always have to use Maggi. Southwest sweet and smoky seasoning. I use that to bring that sweet and smoky taste to the food. Just what it said. So guys, these are all my ingredients. Those are all the things that you need to make a very delicious, tasty seafood boy. Bell peppers, hot peppers, onions, you got your corn and you have your potatoes. You see how beautiful that is? We do not get processed stuff on this. We make everything from scratch. Okay guys, so th these are my seafood um, that I will be using for the seafood boil. Um, I have, of course, the snow crab, the lobster, the crayfish, the shrimp, the mussel, and I have these giant shrimp. So, and obviously we can't go without some sushis. So, this is all that's gonna go in for my seafood and I just wanna show you. Again, remember, you can just use lobster if that's what you feel. Anything you like, use it. We just follow the recipe here. Okay guys, so I went ahead to speed up the process. I washed the corn and the potatoes and I just put it in the pot. It's on high heat and it's gonna boil for about eight to 10 minutes. And it's in there. I'm gonna also add some salt to the water to get the corn a nice, juicy, you know, delicious taste. Now that we have the potatoes and corn going, we going to go ahead and get all the other presses going. We still have seafood to clean up. We still have bell pepper and all those things. So let's get it. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and wash all my seafood out. I do use vinegar to clean them out because I do not want it to smell like seafood and have all that freshy fresh smells on it so I use vinegar to wash it and then also wash it in the fresh clean water so make sure to wash it each of them one at a time take your time do not rush this process so now I'm gonna clean up my bell peppers cut them up and as you can see I'm gonna chop it up I knew I like to have texture to it, so I do not like to blend the peel. I just like to chop it out. So that's what I'm doing right now. All right, so guys, now it's time to blend the bell peppers, hot pepper, onions for the seafood boil. To make the sauce for the seafood boil. So this is one of my favorite, I know a lot of blenders out there you can use the one that seems easy for you i use this one because i just like to do it the old school way i like to, you know to control the texture of the bell pepper so i go ahead and just give you a little spin this is the outcome of it okay guys so for the lobster um you let the water come to a boil 
and you put the lobster in, let it cook for about five to seven minutes. Five to seven minutes. Some people like it well cooked, but you don't you don't need to cook it too much because remember we're gonna mix everything up. So put your lobster in and let it cook. So the lobster is done. We boiled it for about five minutes. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it up a little bit. Um, I take the paws off. So guys, now it's time to prepare the sauce for the seafood boy. So I'm gonna measure um, two cup of olive oil to go um, in a pot and fry the sauce. You can use vegetable oil, corn oil, but I'm using olive for this. So two cup. Let it heat for two minutes and you can go ahead and put all your other ingredients, peppers and things into the oil. Careful. So remember these are different colors of bell peppers and um, hot pepper, onions. That's what I'm gonna use to make the sauce for the seafood boil. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put all the seasoning in. I will put half of each um, in, and remember, all the measurement is one tablespoon of each. So I'll put half in, and I'll use the other half to season the seafood. I'll also go ahead and add my maggies in. I will go ahead and lower the heat to medium. Just because I wanted to take I'm a slow cooker. It has to be perfect. So you do not want to rush. You want all this flavor to go in. So I, I will be putting in about four packages. Actually eight in total packages into this meal just to give it the color. That's my secret recipe. Those of you that are familiar with this um, seasoning. What are the main reason that you use them for? Like, do you use it to like change mostly for flavor or color of the food? Like me, do you use all the flavor? So right now, I have all the seasoning, and I'm gonna go ahead and steam the seafood for about five minutes with the seasoning. So I try not to put too much because remember, I already put a good amount in the sauce that's gonna increase the flavor. Sprinkle the season in there because I want the flavor to go in. For each, that's what I do. Sprinkle a little bit. Remember, this season I'm using is the same thing that I put in, all the season I put in for the sauce. I just I season as I go because some the ones that are in the bottom I wanted to have you know a good amount of season as well and I will shut the pot and let it stand for about five minutes. So I'll show you the next step. This is how the sauce turned out. It's ready to go. I'll keep some on the side for dipping, but this is it. It's ready to go. I'm gonna put them in the seafood um, boil right now. Those have, you know, steam up for about five minutes. It's time to put the sauce in. So I'm gonna go ahead, turn up the stove. Look how amazing that looks. I'm just gonna go ahead and dip, pour the sauce in there. Let it cook for about another 10 to 15 minutes. Okay guys, I 
I had so much fun with you guys today. Thank you for staying throughout the whole process. Do not forget, give me a suggestion. What is it that you like me to make? Put that in the comment. I hope you enjoy your seafood when you do make it. And if this is your first time, hit the subscribe button. And those of you who are already family, I'll see you in the next video.